Okay, we're going to do a incline dumbbell fly, and I'm going to show you two different hand positions. So depending on what your target is, what your preference is, you have an option for two different ways. So we're going to start by using leverage. We're going to put the dumbbells on the edge of the knees. We're going to lean back, kick, kick up to the shoulders. Feet are firm on the ground. We're going to keep our chest up, press it up. Now from here, most people are doing it with the palms facing each other. We're going to inhale out, come out nice and wide. to about parallel, get a full stretch on the upper chest. Exhale as we bring it in. If you're doing it this way, at the top of the motion, flip your wrists in like you're bringing, no, no. Like you're bringing your palm, no, no, no. Right here, like you're bringing your palms in together. This way you can squeeze more of the inner chest. If you do it and you bring your knuckles in together, go ahead and try it with the knuckles in together. So you, yeah, like that, see how it bends it a little bit? That's gonna put more focus onto the outer chest. So straighten the arms, bring the wrist in together, and now you can get more center chest development squeeze. The other way you could do it is turn the palms facing forward, inhale out, exhale up. This is gonna put more emphasis onto the upper part of the chest alone right here, versus the other way is gonna put more emphasis onto the upper chest and use some of that outer. This one here, if you want to get more overall thickness and balance out your chest, do it this way here. And then when you're done, bring it down to the shoulders. <laughs> Neither, I'm sorry, we're so out of sync on this video, but here you get the gist of it. No, he, <laughs> yeah. 